Hey, thanks for coming back. If you have a long-term client that you're charging an hourly rate, but you wanna increase that rate, this is the video for you. A lot of times in our freelance business, creative agency, we have a client that we've had for a few years and we're charging them a previous rate. Let's say it's $50 an hour, but all of your new clients are paying $70 an hour and you're sitting there thinking, how do I get my client up from 50 bucks an hour to $70 an hour. I don't want to ruin the relationship and lose the client. That's usually the thing that kind of keeps us from asking for that bump is that we're afraid of losing the client. They're a significant part of our income. We have a good relationship with them. They're gonna be hard to replace. But you also have to remember that the client will be afraid of losing you. You already know all their people, you're inside of their production systems, you know their production processes, you understand the quality they expect. You're hard to replace. And most clients would rather pay you more money than go find another you. They don't wanna go through the hassle of posting a job, interviewing people, trying somebody out, having them fail, having a new person come in, try them out, have them fail. It's months of time trying to replace what you offer to this client. So if you strategically ask for an increase to your rate, you're gonna get it, and I'm gonna show you how to do it strategically right now. Let's say this client is paying you $50 an hour. It's a rate you used to charge people a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, whatever. And all your new clients are paying $70 an hour. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a price in the middle of those two things. So 50 and 70, we've got $60 an hour as our middle point price. Then you're gonna have this conversation with your client. Hey, as you know, we've been working together for a long time. I love our partnership and it's so great for me. I hope you feel the same. I try to keep my rate as low as I can to keep this going for both of us. So this first little phrase is just to butter them up a little bit and set the tone. They kind of get the vibe. Oh, they're gonna be asking me for more money. Then you continue. In recent years, I've been charging $70 per hour to my newer clients, but I still have you at my older rate of $50 per hour. Now we mention the $70 an hour here and it becomes the price anchor. It becomes the higher price that we get them to start thinking. They're thinking in their head, oh, they're gonna ask me for 70 bucks an hour. And they're analyzing that and calculating that in their head. And while you let that settle in their brain, you say something like this, I don't wanna negatively impact our relationship or your profitability on my work, but I would like to discuss increasing my rate with you. So the $70 an hour is floating around in there and you're emphasizing that you wanna make sure that they stay profitable on your work. Now they're calculating in their head profitability. Oh, am I still profitable with them at $70 an hour? Oh, I'm charging my clients $100 an hour, so yeah. 70, okay, that can work. They're doing that calculation in their head. Then you say, as I mentioned, my recent clients are paying $70 an hour. I would like to start charging you $60 an hour, but only if it works for your business. What are your thoughts? Can you still make sufficient profit on my time at that rate? This is the diplomatic approach. You price anchored them at 70, you gave them a discount, and they deserve a discount. They deserve a discount. They've been a long-term good client for you. So don't feel bad about charging them a little less than what you're charging some of your newer clients. But you're also gonna make a little more, so it's gonna make you feel better about the relationship. They think they're getting a discount, you see that you're getting an increase. Everybody wins. And it also sets up the conversation for the future when you're gonna ask for that $70 an hour because it won't be the first time that they've heard that number from you. You can go back to them in six months, eight months, a year, when you decide, okay, it's time. It's time, I got enough other clients, I don't need this client to be at that lower rate anymore. I can push a little harder. Now, after the client accepts your new price, put it in writing. Nothing in business is verbal only. So you send them a little email, say thank you for our conversation. As we agreed, I'm gonna start charging you $60 per hour on this date. I love working with you. Hope we can continue working together for a long time to come. So that's the approach. It's a diplomatic approach. It's gonna get you the increase. It's not gonna be ugly and confrontational with the client. And like I said, they're gonna wanna pay you more than find somebody else. It's to their advantage to keep you. All right, hope that helps. Hope you will keep coming to watch my videos because I got a lot more coming for you. Um, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, all that stuff that everybody always says to do on YouTube. Go do all that stuff, drop a comment, all that stuff. Okay, thanks a lot, we'll see you soon.